because we have a good, clean signal from the microphone and have recorded in a quiet environment. Our recording is technically sound. There are, however, pauses, breaths, and other unwanted attributes that we can clean up through the waveform editor. So the first thing we need to do is trim off these end bits. And for that, we're gonna use our little selection tool up here, the time selection tool. You'll notice we have a number of particular tools here and we'll see most of these as we go through. But for now, choose the time selection tool and inside of our wave viewer in the editor, go to about here and let's actually click and drag to make a selection. Now with this selection here, we're gonna go ahead and simply hit delete on our keyboard to remove this selection of time. There we go. So that's gone at this point. Let's do the same thing over on the end, click and drag to make your selection, and then go ahead and hit delete. Okay, so now basically we have everything here in the middle, we've removed the beginning and the end. However, notice up here, we've got this little fade out indicator. So hovering over this turns our cursor into a fade move icon, which we can then pull like this in order to create a nice sloping fade. We can do the same thing to this end here. Notice the yellow line just slopes gently upward. There we go. Now in this particular audio file, a fade isn't gonna do too much simply because I have such a clean bed. There's absolutely really no real sound data in any of these dead places. So if I hit the space bar on my computer to play this back, or even in here, the play controls, and notice that loop playback is enabled here, you can see nothing's actually happening. I get nothing registering in my levels here. There's absolutely no audible data in there. So really the fades aren't really doing too much. I'm just showing that for demonstration. Now, what we need to do here, and I'm not sure if I actually have any little breaths or coughs or anything, but if I did have anything like that, I could always remove them using any of these tools. So let's listen. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Mary had a little... All right, so we don't have any real noises to remove, but if we did have one, it would show up as a little blip in our waveform. And you can always use the navigator up here to sort of hone in in specific areas and traverse your entire waveform. So let's just say we've got a little something right here. Um, it doesn't show up in our waveform, but it does show up in spectral display. So if I wanted to remove it using the waveform selection, I can use my time selection tool here. And of course I could pull the audio down here. It's at zero decibels right now. Um, I could pull that down to like, negative 50 and that's going to completely remove any sort of sound and of course i can always hit delete to remove the entire selection let's look up here at some other tools so we have our marquee selection tool lasso selection tool we have a paintbrush selection tool and also a spot healing brush tool now if you don't see the spectral display beneath the waveform you can always enable that by making sure it's selected up here and by just pulling up or down on this particular uh, slider. So if I want the spectral view to be more pronounced, that's one way I could do it. Now, there's nothing registering inside of my waveform right here. However, in the spectral view, I can actually see something right here. And if I wanted to remove that, I could choose any of these selection tools. So let's see how these work. Here's my marquee tool. This, just like Photoshop, you can pull a selection marquee around there and then 
do something like hit delete and it's gone. It's like it was never there to begin with. Let's command or control Z to undo that and deselect. The lasso selection tool, very similar again to something like Photoshop. We can pull a selection around there and delete that or even just pull down the audio using this same slider. Then we have our paintbrush tool, which is pretty neat. Uh, you're able to paint inside of Audition. And what this lets you do is choose a size for your paintbrush and opacity. Opacity with this tool is very important because opacity is going to determine how much what you do affects the particular selection. So if I just go over that a little bit here, you can see it's a certain opacity. And if I pull this up or down, make another selection, you can see that it's less opaque, it's more transparent in this way, and I'm able to actually go through and just paint over that and then pull it down or even make a deletion. Let's undo once again, control or command Z until we're back to where we were. And the last one here is the spot healing brush tool. So this is gonna let us go ahead and just paint over just like the spot healing brush in Photoshop. And it's gonna go through and make decisions around what it should remove. This is one of my favorite tools for cleaning up in the spectral frequency display. Note up here, you can actually change from spectral frequency display to spectral pitch display. That's gonna show you the actual pitch of your voice for each one of these recordings. And you can see the pitch uh, mapped out over here on the side. So I'm gonna go through here and find any other aberrations. So here's something there. There's something right here, let's get rid of it. And this is a really nice way to clean up your audio pretty easily, just using these smart tools that are available. All right, that's pretty good for our spectral view. I'm gonna shrink that down a bit so we can focus once again on the waveform view and choose the time selection tool. There is a bit of an extended pause here, which I'm gonna select and delete just to trim it down. And maybe even here as well. There we go. Let's view the full file once again. And going back to the beginning, hit spacebar to play it back. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. All right, perfect. 